Edwin McMasters Stanton was born on December 19, 1814, in Steubenville, Ohio. A few days after his birth, in distant Belgium, British and American negotiators signed the Treaty of Ghent that ended the War of 1812. It would take almost two months for news of the treaty to reach the United States, and in the meantime, on January 8, 1815, General Andrew Jackson would fight and defeat the British forces at the Battle of New Orleans. Jackson's great victory would make him a national hero and propel him to the White House, where he served as president from 1829 through 1837, the years of Stanton's boyhood and youth. The Democratic Party would celebrate Jackson every year on January 8th, well into the 20th century, with speeches and dinners and conventions. So although he was not aware of it, Stanton was born at an interesting moment in American history. He was also born in an interesting place, on the banks of the Ohio River. The western roads were generally impassable, so rivers served as the main transit routes. According to guidebooks published at this time, Steubenville was the largest town along the Ohio River between Pittsburgh, with about 6,000 people and 75 miles upstream, and Wheeling, about 1,500 people and 25 miles downstream. Steubenville already had about 2,000 people and more than 400 dwellings. As the seat of Jefferson County, the town had a spacious brick courthouse, as well as many local lawyers. Stanton would become a lawyer himself and try many cases in the Steubenville courthouse. Indeed, his statue stands outside the current county courthouse. The guidebooks of his time reported that there were schools and churches, fifty different stores, a weekly newspaper, an iron foundry, and mills to make flour, glass, and cloth. Travel along the rivers at the time of Stanton's birth was by keelboat, but the age of steam was coming. One of the guides in 1814 reported excitedly on the first western steamboats and predicted that they would soon be running up and down our numerous rivers.